All right, so this component over here is rendering a list of widgets. Right now, it's uh, rendering from a hard-coded list of, of widgets that's coming from a reducer. Instead, what we want to do is go fetch this from a service right, that uh, has, is hosting this data over here right, from this endpoint. Uh, so to do that, right, what we can do is, um, is no get notified when we, have a, uh, when we are being loaded. Right? When we are being mounted uh, using the component did mount, right? we can be notified that we, got, we, we are about to be rendered. Right? So this is a good time to go fetch all these, all these widgets. We can say, you know, find all, find all widgets, find all widgets right? from the property, from the props, the props, right? Uh, which presumably were were uh, fed into us right from a from a reducer, right from a from a mapper which we can implement over here. So find all all widgets, we can implement it right here. So this will be const uh, dispatcher to a property mapper. We're going to have the dispatch dispatch function here callback, which we can use to uh, feed the um, the function find all widgets, which takes no arguments, and here is where we can go out to the server and fetch this information. From where? We're going to fetch it from this URL. So let's grab that, and we can do a fetch. Fetch, and this is that. That's the URL, which is going to uh, come back with a response, and we're going to res uh, return the JSON parsed. Uh, JSON, and once we parse that, these are going to be the actual widgets from the server, right? Which we can then use to feed it into our reducer by calling the dispatch, dispatch, and send a notification to the dispatcher that hey, we find we found all widgets. That's the type of the event, uh, and we can pass in the widgets in the action, right, the actual widgets. All right, so we can send it to the dispatcher, right? The dispatcher can then use that information to change the state, to update the state, right? So let's do that. 